Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And in this video, I would like to tell you a story about my friend Richard uh, of his experience in selecting the right size of wok for his kitchen. Uh, Richard uh, started interested in the stir frying you know, wok uh, actually long before he met me. Uh, when Richard first becomes interested in stir frying, uh, he decided that uh, he will only need a relatively small wok. So he went out and purchased a 10 inch wok. And Richard is single, and he told me that he thought that uh, most of the time he mainly just cooking for himself. And so he decided that the 10 inch wall would be big enough for him. And the first thing that uh, Richard discovered that the 10 inch wall is too small is when he makes fried rice. And he find it very difficult to stir fried rice in this wok. He find it, it was a hard time to keep all the rice inside the wok. So after using this 10 inch wok for about several months, uh, Richard then decided that he's going to get a bigger wok. Uh, he chose the next size of the wok, which is a 12 inch wok. And now he has a better time in making fried rice. But when he starts to stir fry leafy vegetables, he runs into a problem. Uh, because leafy vegetables eventually cook down to a small portion usually about one quarter of its original size. Richard discovered in order to cook enough vegetable for a meal, uh, he need to use quite a bit to start out. And the 12-inch wok is simply not big enough. Uh, he realized that he need to get a bigger wok. However, Richard is reluctant to get a larger size wok. Uh, he decided that he uh, simply did not have enough room in the kitchen to fit any wok bigger than the 12 inch wok. And uh, finally, Richard gave in and he went and got a 14 inch wok, uh, which is significantly larger than the 12 inch wok. Uh, this now allowed him to stir fry leafy vegetables, uh, such as kale, baby bok choy, and uh, gai lan. Uh, Rich told me that the 14 inch wok works absolutely great. Uh, not only the wok is large enough to accommodate most of the stir frying that he wants to do, uh, also the large wok reduces splattering. Uh, that makes cleanup much easier. Uh, furthermore, Richard now finds a good place to actually keep his wok. Uh, that is to hang up the wok on the wall. Uh, that only uh, have the walk out of the way, but on top of that, it makes a nice decoration. Now, it is for good reason that the 14 inch walk is the most popular walk on the market. Now, you might ask the question would a 14 inch walk too big if I only want to cook a small amount of food in it? In fact, that is not the case at all uh, because the walk is very scalable in terms of how much food that you want to cook in it. And with its bowl shape, uh, you can cook a small amount of food, such like frying and single egg. As shown here, uh, you can treat a 14 inch wok like a small frying pan. Uh, all the way to cook a portion of fried rice, there will be enough for four to six people. Uh, the wok is a very versatile cooking utensil, uh, particularly a 14 inch wok. Uh, for example, I have a cuisine. 14 inch stainless steel wok. And I have recommended this wok to many people uh, because it's probably the most versatile of all woks. Uh, the stainless steel construction not only allow you to use the wok for stir frying, uh, which by using my spot seasoning method, it will provide a non-stick cooked surface. And since stainless steel will not rust, so you can boil water in the wok. And in this case, you can boil water up for making spaghetti noodles. And with its wide mouth opening, the 14 inch stainless steel wok is perfect for making spaghetti pasta noodles. And you can use the wok for doing things that you normally would do in a frying pan. Here is a demonstration of that I am frying potatoes uh, in my 14 inch cuisine stainless steel wok. Uh, I can even use the wok to make French toast in this case, and in another case, I use the wok to make grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, in many ways, the wok is like a small frying pan that you can use it for that particular purpose. 
And last but not the least, I use the wok quite often, uh, is to bake bread in the oven. And this is one reason that uh, to get a wok that with uh, all metal constructions that you can put into the oven. For example, I'm using the wok here uh, to bake some chicken. Uh, Richard told me that after he got the 14-inch wok, uh, he used that wok exclusively for 99% of all his cooking. Uh, to the point now, he has uh, basically uh, got rid of most of his cooking utensils. As you can see, the wok is capable of many different cooking functions. In this case, by choosing a 14-inch standard steel wok, uh, not only that it will allow you to do all types of cookings, but it has a size that will allow you to scale the amount of the food that you cook uh, from a very small amount to a very large amount. Uh, Richard told me that he learned it the hard way by starting out with a 10-inch wok. He said, now, if anybody asks him what is the good size of wok to get, he told me that he would definitely tell them uh, get the 14-inch wok without any question. He says that without any doubt, this is the best size wok to get. So you might ask, what about wok that is even bigger than 14-inch? My answer is that if you have the space in the kitchen to have a bigger wok, then you should get the 16-inch. Uh, because the wok is scalable in the amount of the food that you cook in it, a larger wok will allow you to accommodate uh, more food in the wok, uh, but you can still cook a small amount of food as well. Uh, but for most people, the 16-inch wok might be a little bit too large for them to store in their kitchen. And I have a 16-inch wok as well, and uh, uh, if I have a choice, that is probably my favorite wok. Uh, but for my everyday wok, it's the Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok because of its versatility. I post a video every day to explain my fast cooking system, which is uh, flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. If you would like to learn more as well as uh, to adopt uh, this cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.